right, you guys, so let's go make this super cute pair of summer earrings, pair number one. Hey, Come you on. guys, so I know it only took 20 years for me to get to this place of um, designing some earrings. Okay, so thank you for your patience with me. I also have a Michaels tour I'm gonna be sharing. So let's get started. So today we know that cow print is all the rage. Oh my gosh, I could not wait to make these earrings. My shirt always almost matches it and that certainly was not planned. So the things you're gonna need, are you gonna need some black paint? I'm not using any particular brand. This is Craft Smart and this is Anita's. And I'm using a white paint, which I don't like this white paint, but it's the only true white that I have to make the cow print. So that's why I'm using it. You're gonna need some wooden bases. I have tons of these at nauseum laying around, right? Ubiquitous wood pieces. I was like, what does ubiquitous mean? I saw, I heard it in a movie, right? But the word ubiquitous, what does that mean? It means like um, prevalent, like a lot of, like there's tons of it. You're gonna need your cordless drill or anything that you use to put a hole in your item. And then also you're gonna need some flat nose pliers to attach your earring findings. And then you're gonna need whatever brushes you want to use. So of course I'm not using these brushes, but I'm just, I might use that one. So you're gonna need a brush to make your little cow circles or like the, um, the cow dots, right? The little imprints of the cow. So I'm gonna put all this stuff right here. So you'll know what you need. And then, you know, you can make these in multiple colors. I mean, cause cows come in all kinds of colors. So you could do brown with white spots. You could do black with white spots. But all the rage of what I've seen on the runway has been the white base with the black spots. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And then of course, you're gonna need any earring findings of your choice. Um, I have several, so any earring findings that you choose. I like these a lot. I think I got those from Michaels years ago. Just hadn't used them. And then there's the regular fish hooks. So you're gonna need that and some little jump rings once we get to the finishing stages. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. So I forgot to mention, you're also gonna need a bowl of water. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna paint the white bases on the cow. And again, we're just gonna use some regular white acrylic paint. And what's really cool is you can do cow print, sorry about that, in all kinds of colors, right? It doesn't have to just be white with black stripes. It can be any any color that you want. So because I didn't put a little, what do you call it? Bowl or a cup or anything on the table, we're just gonna go ahead and you always wanna use the smooth side. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just squeeze the paint out directly onto the earring base. And for some reason, I'm fighting with the light this morning. So let me get that straight, be right back. Okay, so we're back, that's much better. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna spread the white paint out on there. And the only reason this white paint is not my favorite is because it just acts a little inexpensive like, I don't know. I got it from AC Moore before they went out of business. And it was probably one of, it would think it was the only white paint they had left at the time. And like, see how it puts those little paint coagulations on there? I don't like that. Cause really great paint to me shouldn't do that. But it's what we have, so it's what we're gonna use today. So how have you all been? What is going on? Let's crack a lacking in the infamous words of Marty the Zebra on whatever that movie was, Return to Madagascar or, yeah, I think it's Return to Madagascar. Super cute. So. We're just gonna paint these bases and I'm gonna use two coats because I want more than two coats and I want it to have a really, I don't want it to just be a wash. I want it to be like a true white. So we're gonna do multiple coats on there. So insurance business has been going really great. God bless me to be number eight in our whole company. Um, I'm with Symmetry Financial Group, so I'm number eight in the company for April for insurance sales in terms of new writers, people that just got licensed and wrote business. And I love insurance. I'm like, why didn't I do this before? And I was licensed before, but real estate is equally going great, except for it's so competitive. Like there'll be 15 people writing an offer on one home, which is totally ridiculous, but that's the market that we're in right now. And so that's made getting an offer accepted for my buyer clients, pretty tough. So when people ask me about coming into real estate, I'm like, if you don't have to do it right now, buddy, wait it out. 
right? Don't do it yet. So look how pretty that is. I'm going to sit that off to the side. I have a little, um, the thing that I keep my earring bases in. I normally sit stuff on top of there to dry. So we're just adding our second coat of white paint. And so really actually one and a half coats. So we may end up doing one more solid coat after this dries, but I don't want it to be all chunky because um, this particular paint can crack too for whatever reason if you don't let the coats dry sufficiently in between. So I think that looks really nice. And I'm just trying to make sure I've gotten it on the sides as well where it needs to be. And we're not gonna use any type of pattern to put the little cow dots down. We're just gonna do it freehanded. So gonna go wash the brushes off, let the white paint dry. And of course the earrings are gonna hang that way, but you could use any shape you want. You know, you are all probably already know if you follow me here on YouTube that um, the wooden base is come in all different shapes and sizes. I wanted to use the teardrop shape, but only had one, I think, let's see. I mean, you can use hearts, cause look, there's those which are really large and there are, This is my favorite shape in the whole world. I love the teardrops. You can do a teardrop cow print. You can do little hearts, cow prints. They would just be small. Um, if I had that size heart, like one more, I think I'd have to go hunt it down because it's not in here. Then we do a bigger heart with the cow print. But how cute would those be? Heart-shaped earrings with the cow prints on them. I think that'd be super cute. So I was trying to see if any of these matched. That's why I got quiet. I was like, okay, well, do they match? Then maybe we could just paint a heart-shaped cow print there. Now, those two semi-match. That one's too big because it's bigger than the other one. So let's do a heart shape while we're while we're here. Let's put this up. Because I love, like, little earrings. So, again, you always want to use the smooth side. I don't know why my voice was shaking for a minute. That's so weird. <laughs> But anyway, you want to use the smooth side. And so we're just going to paint, paint, paint. We're going to give it a nice coat. And we can always come back and do the edges. So let's just get the front of it done. And these are going to be super cute. So, of course, we use a smaller paintbrush to um, put the little dots on here. Than what we would use for... The bigger earrings so and you guys my insurance team is growing if you're um looking to get into insurance part-time we're not you know you don't have to be full-time i'm not going to say we're not looking for full-time people but even i'm part-time and part-time you can make anywhere from an extra 500 dollars a month you know up to three and four thousand dollars a month it's totally up to you um how much time you put into it oops that flipped over by accident so we are hiring insurance agents across the country. You don't have to be licensed. Um, we can help you get licensed. We have a um, licensing agency online class that we work with. I thought it was really easy to go through. When I say easy, I mean, of course, you have to, me it's memorization. So it's not like you don't have to study, but it wasn't like the real estate exam at all. Nothing like it. Real estate was hard. So if you're interested, you know, you want to, earn some part-time money, want to work from home part-time. We are growing our agency. Any any state in the country you can be in, um, just let me know and I'll send you some information about Symmetry. And um, we have a discount code for the course. You take the course from home. It's self-study, self-paced. Um, if you finish it within 14 days, we have some incentives for that. So just FYI, let's go let these dry those coats and then we're going to come back put one more coat and then paint the backs and we'll put some dots on okay you guys so let's get ready to put the dots on so what i did was i painted the backs like this really pretty teal color and so they would stand out when you wear them and so now listen no rhyme or reason we're just going to start putting the cow prints on we all all know what a cow print looks like so it's just some black spots that are kind of squiggly your cow print can look like whatever you want. I'm going to bring mine off the side a little bit. We've all seen cows in the field and been like, oh, I love cows. You might not feel that way, but when I ride by them in the 
fields. I get so excited and don't let it be some baby lambs and goats. I'm uber excited, right? So I'm just making some marks that look like cow print. This is all the rage all over the runway are cow prints in black and white. So super cutesy. You can put as many as you want or as few as you want. These are your earrings but people are gonna love these. You could even put glitter on the cow print if you want to. I'm gonna pull it off the side over there. Now the only thing by not having any type of rhyme or reason is trying to match it up with the other earring. <laughs> but look how cute that is. So I think I wanna bring this one out a little bit more just so it has a little bit more cow to it. And you can go over it twice. But look at that, super cute, super easy. Now let's do this one. And I'm gonna do my best to match them up, but I'm not really trying to match so much as they're, they're just unique in their cow prints, right? So we're just putting our print on. I'm just dipping the brush in the paint. And you just randomly freehand and doing your cow print. And you could put like black glitter on your cow print once you have it on there, if you wanted to do that. And that would add like some sparkle and some pop to it. I'm definitely gonna um, use the 3D Dimensional Magic on here so it gives some depth to it because I feel like that'll make it pop. So I'm gonna let these dry and then I'm gonna put that on there. Cause you wanna make sure your coats are really dry when you wanna put any type of gloss on there. So, one more and we're finished with this one until they dry. Super cute. So now let's do the hearts because I think they're gonna be as adorable too with cow prints on them. So. I'm just holding them so I can show you how I'm just honestly just squiggling black spots that look like cow prints. And then just adding a little bit more. And now look, how cute is that? So cute, a little heart-shaped cow print. So now let's do this one. And we're gonna do our best to match it up and turn it towards you. But if it doesn't match up, it's totally okay, it's art. I learned that from my baby. She's like, mom, it does not have to be perfect. The things we can learn from our little ones, right? Nothing has to be perfect. You may hear a Bible study going on in the background. My husband is listening to one of his friends. One of our friends from college, he's doing a Bible study tonight. And thank you for all of you that have left the sweetest comments about stuff, just about liking the page and the different videos um, that I'm able to share. I apologize that I've not gotten to comment back this week. I've been in the car a lot, didn't want to end up a hood ornament, but I am going to take the time to reply to all of your comments this weekend. And just thank you for the love and the encouragement. Totally appreciate it. How adorable are they? So now we're going to let them dry and they are just the cutest. And I'm probably gonna wanna do two coats on the cows. And, but I'm gonna let them dry and see how they look beforehand. And then we'll get that done, okay? 